Yeah, it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at the United States Military Academy. We're visiting the annual cyber defense exercise uh, that is uh, sponsored by the National Security Agency and uh, involves a competition amongst uh, uh, the service academies, uh, and uh, each academy gets to set up a network which uh, they defend during the course of a week. And uh, they score this event. Um, it's a competition. I uh, hear a lot about uh, uh, comparison with how they're doing against the Naval Academy. And uh, actually, at graduation last year, Vice President Biden uh, touted uh, Army's uh, win in this uh, competition. But we had a chance to talk to the director, uh, Michael Petullo, uh, who is uh, the coach for the West Point Cyber Team. And then also got a chance to talk with one of the seniors, Robert Jenkins, his branching Signal Corps. After graduation, as he said, he's getting their counted down to the days until uh, graduation here, just uh, about 44 days. But a great opportunity for the cadets to learn uh, key aspects of defending a network so vital in the military. It's vital in business today, and for all the things we hear, uh, these skills they'll learn on this and the classes that they take will be so valuable in their careers uh, going forward. So stay with us. We'll have a couple of interviews and uh, a really a fascinating opportunity to see the training that the cadets here at West Point have the opportunity to participate in this annual cyber defense competition versus the National Security Agency, and it'll run uh, through Friday. So for from the United States Military Academy, uh, this is Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio. And this is Ken Kreitzer at the United States Military Academy. We're at the cyber defense exercise program. I have a chance to talk with one of the senior cadets, Robert Jenkins. And, uh, and uh, Robert, uh, a great competition. Uh, third time we've had a chance to visit. Tell us, how's it going so far? Uh, so far, we're doing uh, pretty well. You know, we're in the lead right now. We hope to maintain that lead. So uh, we're just, you know, trying to continue and keep our, uh, keep our aspirations alive. Well, certainly that competition amongst against Navy and, and several other uh, service academies, uh, everybody keeps track of. What, what will the cadets uh, learn from participating in this exercise? So we'll basically be learning how to build a network and make sure we uh, you know, properly defend it. So uh, the, the NSA, they're very good at what they do, and they're very good at penetrating networks, and we're trying to make sure we make ours as secure as possible. Absolutely, and certainly very important for uh, the military today, defending networks uh, and uh, uh, certainly the, the development of the cyber branch. Uh, now tell us a little bit about, I understand you're going to go to the Signal Corps after graduation. Right, yes sir. So I'll be, uh, I'll be going to uh, Fort Drum and be a signal officer. Um, I'll be in charge of a platoon and then basically we'll be in charge of making sure we, uh, we maintain a good network up at Fort Drum. Very good. Um, certainly we'll get some cold weather up there, some cold weather training at Fort Drum. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, uh, your, what, your, what does the Signal Corps do? Just tell us a little bit about that for someone who may not be familiar with that branch of the Army. So basically we're in charge of communications as a whole, um, you know, and that, and that varies from, you know, radios and walkie-talkies to, you know, networks and computers and Internet and all that good stuff. Well, certainly uh, uh, cyber defense uh, experience is very valuable uh, to you. Uh, what, what is it uh, that you learn from this? Uh, certainly you get the chance to lead as a senior in running, helping to run the event. What are some of the things that you've learned from uh, participating in the cyber defense exercise? Um, well, you definitely learn how to be a leader, and definitely a good part of being a leader is, uh, you know, knowing when to lead and knowing when to follow. So a lot of this is, you know, everyone has their own expertise and their own, you know, special field of work that they work in here. So sometimes, you know, you may not be the main effort, you know, doing, you know, the defending at this moment, but you'll be a good support effort. So the biggest thing is definitely knowing how to lead and knowing when to lead. Okay, and where are you from? Uh, I'm originally from Los Angeles, California. Oh, wow, you came a long way. Uh, but uh, great to see you. Congratulations. We'll look forward to seeing you at graduation. And I know you're counting down the days. Uh, how many days left for graduation? 44 in the butt days. 44 days, yeah. We'll look forward to being there. And uh, our best wish is uh, uh, Cadet uh, Robert Jenkins uh, uh, is going to go Signal Corps. And uh, our best wishes from all of us at the American Legion. Thank you. Go Army, be Navy. Absolutely. Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at West Point. And, and it's Ken Kreitzer for Sons of the American Legion Radio at West Point, and we're in the middle of the cyber defense exercise we've had a chance to cover over the last couple of years, and we get a chance to talk to the head coach of cyber uh, for uh, West Point on the team, and that is Major Michael Petullo. Uh, Major, good to see you. Tell, how's the day going so far? It's going really well. Um, we've held the lead. It's a tight margin, but we've held the lead since the beginning, and uh, you know we've reacted reasonably well to everything that's been thrown our way. 
Uh, so things are going well. All right, we hope to hold on to this lead. Absolutely, and I know there's uh, a competition amongst the various service academies. We just heard the score uh, against uh, the Naval Academy. and uh, But tell us a little about it. This is something that is sponsored by the National Security a Agency, I understand. Absolutely. So the, the NSA puts in a tremendous amount of resources uh, to, to, to lay this on. You know, we're really appreciated of, of all their work. And they've been doing since this, this since 2001. And so they always, they always run a great exercise. This one in particular started off very well. You know, from a technical standpoint, so we're very pleased with uh, with their willingness to continuously put this on. Absolutely. Yeah, I understand that uh, the cadets are assigned to defend to set up a network, and uh, and then the adversaries uh, will then probe it as part of the competition. Uh, how, is that how it works? How, what do the cadets learn from uh, from this uh, opportunity? So yes, it's a, I describe it as sort of a design, build, and then defend exercise. So they run the whole gamut from concept until implementation, and all the way through. Uh, maintaining the network under active attack. Um, and so a lot of these cadets are going to go on to uh, uh, many different fields, to be honest with you. Some of them are going to be signal officers. Some will be cyber officers. We even have a, a number of infantrymen and aviators. Um, despite where they're going, this one experience of building everything from scratch and having defended really is an experience that, um, uh, that's going to really inform whatever it is that they ha have to do. Even even the uh, infantrymen these days has to have a little know a little bit about cyber to operate, just because that's such a big part of the world nowadays. And you're defending the uh, uh, championship you won last year, uh, which was mentioned by Vice President Biden on graduation day in his remarks. I know he presented the trophy. Uh, why is is the competition uh, grown the way it has? Why why is it uh, s such an important competition? Well, certainly if you ask our graduates typically that participate in the CDX, they often rank the CDX as among the top or perhaps the top experience they had while they were at West Point. And so I think that the cadets themselves are kind of a testament to how, how valuable this experience is. And we just, uh, just kind of latch on to their uh, enthusiasm, and uh, every everybody gets a lot out of it. I mean, even the coaches, we're learning something every day when we come into this exercise. So. Oh sure. Tell us a little bit about your career and uh, what, your, uh, what, uh, uh, what your teaching role is here at West Point. So um, I was originally a signal officer in the United States Army. Uh, recently, I branched cyber, so I transitioned in this new cyber branch. So I've been in the cyber for about you know, roughly uh, two years, year, year and a half, two years. Um, I teach a lot of the systems courses here at West Point within the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. So I teach, for example, operating systems. I've taught a number of security courses. Um, right now, I'm actually teaching theory. But so I'm, I'm, a, I'm an assistant professor, like a number of the, uh, the other coaches. And, uh, and we, we have this role of, as coach for this particular event, but aside from that, we're just like a normal uh, college uh, professor uh, teaching various courses in the computer science department. So. Very good. Well, certainly a very important uh, project, uh, co opportunity, and an important field uh, for the military, cyber defense. Great to visit with you. Major Michael Petullo, uh, the coach here on cyber at the, uh, at the cyber competition. Great to see you. Thanks. Beat Navy. Absolutely. Uh, our pleasure. Ken Kratzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at the United States Military Academy.